If you love horror films, you need to check out Quaden. Released in 1964, Quaden is an anthology of four horror stories pulled straight from Japanese folklore, each one more terrifying than the last, making it one of the best horror films ever made. Quaden was even nominated for an Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film, which should tell you just how good it is. Each part of the movie tells a different ghost story with plenty of scary moments and uncomfortable scenes. But be warned, there are spoilers ahead. Let's break it down. The first short story is titled The Black Hair. Imagine this. You're a poor swordsman in Kyoto. You think with your wallet instead of your heart because for you, money is more important than love. Frustrated with your loving and patient wife, you get a divorce and marry a rich woman to climb the social ladder. But guess what? This new wife is as warm as an iceberg and just as welcoming. The second wife is angry when she finds out that you married her just to get her family's wealth. You realize too late that you screwed up big time. One day, after realizing that money can't buy happiness, you decide to go back to your ex. You head home, hoping for a warm welcome and surprise, everything looks exactly the same. Even your ex-wife. If only you turned back right now, maybe your story wouldn't have ended the way it did. If only. You and your ex make up and she reassures you of her love for you. That night, you fall asleep beside her, thinking you managed to reverse your mistake but happily ever after doesn't belong in a horror film. In the morning, you wake up next to her rotting corpse. Yes, you heard that right, rotting corpse. In terror, you stumble around the house, which now looks like it's been through a zombie apocalypse. And as you try to escape, your flesh begins to turn pasty and disgusting. In a final act of revenge, you are attacked by your wife's black hair as it strangles the life out of you. As dark as this story was, you are not prepared for what the others have in store. Next up, we have The Woman of the Snow. Brace yourselves, it's about to get real cold. Two woodcutters, Minokichi and Masaku, get caught in a snowstorm and are forced to hide out in a boatman's hut. That night, they are visited by the Yukiona, a beautiful but deadly snow spirit. She freezes Masaku to death in his sleep and is about to do the same to Minokichi, but she spares him because he's young and handsome. Who knew good looks could save you from being murdered by a supernatural being? She makes him promise never to mention what happened or she'll come back to finish the job. The boy returns home and never speaks a word to anyone. No point tempting fate, right? Years later, Minokichi meets and marries a woman named Yuki, who seems too perfect to be true. They live happily and have kids, but Minokichi can't help but notice she never seems to age. I mean, he should have guessed who it was by now. They even share the same name, but love is blind, I guess. One night, he finally spills the beans about his encounter with the Yukiona to his wife, and drum roll, Yuki reveals she is the Yukiona. Even though he broke his word, she decides not to kill him because of their children. Unable to stay with Minokichi any longer, she vanishes into the snowstorm, leaving him with a broken heart and a serious case of frostbite on his soul. Minokichi places her sandals outside in the snow, and after he goes back inside, they have disappeared. Yuki has accepted them. If I were him, I'd just move, probably to a different continent. Next up, we have Hoichi the Earless. Hoichi is a young blind musician who plays the biwa, a traditional Japanese instrument. His special talent is singing and narrating epic tales at the temple where he lives. One night, a ghostly samurai appears and invites Hoichi to perform for his lord. The samurai leads him to an ancient, mysterious court. Hoichi, not realizing he's playing for the dead, goes along with it. I was screaming at the screen, run man, but of course, he couldn't hear me, and things were about to get worse. The following night, the samurai returns to take Hoichi. Later, the priest asks him why he always goes out at night, but Hoichi won't explain. During a stormy night, his friends follow him in secret. They find him in a graveyard singing to the spirits of the dead emperor and his court. His friends drag him back to the temple. The priest warns Hoichi that he is in serious danger. If Hoichi goes back, the spirits will tear him apart. To protect him, the priest covers his body with holy text to make him invisible to the ghosts. But, oops, they forgot to write on his ears. The samurai returns, can't see Hoichi's body, but sees his ears and rips them off. 
Ouch! The next morning, the priest and the attendants find a trail of blood leading from the temple. Hoichi is thankfully still alive. Now earless, he becomes famous for his story and gets rich playing his biwa for living audiences instead of dead ones. The most messed up story in Quaden is called In a Cup of Tea. It's about a writer who tells a tale of Sekinai. Sekinai sees a strange man's face in a cup of tea and like any rational person, drinks it anyway. Later, the owner of the face, Shikabu, shows up in person and Sekinai's life gets very complicated very quickly. Sekinai tries to get help, but everyone thinks he's seeing things. That night, he's visited by Hainai's ghostly entourage. He fights them off, but is left hanging as the story ends suddenly. The writer teases that he could finish it, but decides to leave it to our imagination. How would you end that story? Just when you think it's over, a publisher arrives and asks for the writer, but he's nowhere to be found. Then he finds the writer trapped inside a jar of water and he runs away in horror. Quaden is a series of fever dreams, and each story is a masterclass in how to create an uncomfortable atmosphere for your audience. If you're into tales that get under your skin and make you look over your shoulder for weeks after, then Quaden is a must watch. Just maybe keep a nightlight handy and look out for ghost samurais. Which section of this movie sent chills up your spine? Are you gonna spook your friends by telling them one of the stories? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't miss out on our YouTube memberships. You might have noticed that little join button below. When you click on it, you become a member of our channel, part of an exclusive club. So, what do you get as a member? Firstly, you'll get these awesome loyalty badges next to your name in the comment section. It lets everyone know you're one of our VIPs. We'll also give shout outs to our members in our videos because, hey, we appreciate you. Members also get early access to our videos. You'll be the first to see all the new content we're cooking up. And for all you lovers of horror, we've got something extra special. We're introducing the Dark Vault tier, where we'll be posting exclusive videos just for our horror fans. For those who may not want to join, our regular content will still be available for everyone to enjoy. Memberships are just for those who want to take their support to the next level. So if you want to unlock all these awesome perks and join our growing community, just hit that join button below. We can't wait to welcome you to the club. Click the video on the screen to find your next binge or movie to watch.